Let me ask you a question. Are you looking for some great insights and maybe some entertaining stories at the same time? Do you need a little bit of inspiration and positivity right now? Well, stay right there. Don't move, because I have an exciting, entertaining, and very encouraging book to discuss with you today. I'm talking about Green Lights by Matthew McConaughey. Let's jump right into the lessons from this book. Lesson one, red lights lead to green lights. The author says it like this, the problems we face today eventually turn to blessings in the rearview mirror of life. In time, yesterday's red light leads us to a green light. So, what are green lights? Green lights are the easy times in life. They're the blue skies and the green trees. They're the keep goings and don't change a thing. Red and yellow lights? Well, these are hard times. The failures. They're the winters, the depressions, the COVID-19s and the recessions. They are the detours and interruptions in our life. Red and yellow lights are a signal that it's time to think, time to listen, and time to learn. Red lights present us with three choices. First, we can persist or push on. Second, we can pivot or call an audible. And third, we could concede or wave the white flag. Which choice you make and when you make it ultimately decides your fate. The author calls this decision-making process the art of living. L-I-V-I-N. Now, let's move on to lesson two. Learn to run downhill. The author says it like this. The art of running downhill. Don't trip yourself while running downhill. That mountain you want to climb, it's just around the corner. Don't invent drama. It will come on its own. The author gives us some insight into the reality of life-changing events. In his case, the event was the massive fame he experienced days after the movie A Time to Kill hit theaters. In the course of around 72 hours, his whole life changed. He teaches us that when you experience success in life, remember to first enjoy your success. Be proud of yourself and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Celebrate your accomplishments. Good times never last forever. Fall is followed by winter. But then, spring is just around the corner. That's life. Enjoy the blue skies while they're out. Second, the author reminds us that success does not solve your problems. It changes them. Although success may solve some problems, it also creates some new problems. And new problems require us to grow, to learn, and to come up with new solutions. Finally, success can be overwhelming. Sometimes we need to find space to process the changes that are occurring. In our author's case, his newfound success brought about the need for some introspection, isolation, and medication. He had a dream that called him to the Amazon River, so he answered the call, and he came out the other side refreshed and renewed. Let's move on to lesson three. Preparation leads to freedom. McConaughey says it like this, we must learn the consequence of negligence. It's not just what we do, it's what we don't do that's important as well. We are guilty by omission. Preparation creates success because when we prepare, we have confidence. When we have confidence, we impress. And when we impress, we get more opportunities. And around and around we go, the flywheel of success. Our author learned to show up extra prepared for his auditions. As a result, he had the confidence he needed to ask for the roles he wanted. And people were willing to listen to him because he earned their respect. Take every opportunity seriously. You never know when the next opportunity is hanging in the balance of your performance. Let's move on to the next lesson. Lesson four, take action. McConaughey says it perfectly. Sometimes which choice you make is not as important as making a choice and committing to it. The bottom line is this, action leads to opportunity. When you take action, good and bad things happen. You'll have opportunities and you'll have some failures. The opportunities take you closer to your goal and the failures teach you valuable lessons. However, when you do nothing, when indecision, too many options or fear causes you to freeze, nothing happens. Absolutely nothing. Nothing good, nothing bad. It's all about taking opportunities and seeing what happens. For our author, 
He would rather jump than fall, so he put it. He traveled abroad in Australia as a high school student. He drove out to Hollywood after college graduation, only really knowing one person. He wrestled with tribesmen in Africa, and he floated down the Amazon River. Matthew McConaughey was willing to try things, and this willingness led him to lots of opportunities. Action, folks. That is the key to opportunity. Next lesson. Lesson 5. Be true to yourself. McConaughey says it like this. Life is not a popularity contest. Be brave. Take the hill. But first, answer the question, what is my hill? The author doesn't just tell us to take the hill, but he lays out what I believe to be a solid three-step plan for actually taking the hill. The first step is to define your success. What is my hill? Our author's definition of success was to stop taking the easy money romantic comedy jobs and begin doing films that were more stimulating and challenging for him. The next step is to determine how to get there. How am I going to take that hill? The author determined that he would have to turn down rom-com roles until he unbranded himself as the rom-com guy, however long that might take. The final step is this. Stick to the plan. In the author's words, this means take the hill. Matthew McConaughey stuck to his guns and turned down lots of work and lots of money. He said it like this. If I couldn't do what I wanted, I wasn't going to do what I didn't, no matter the price. Eventually, he unbranded. And after that, the work he wanted started to roll in, and he took the hill. In so doing, Matthew McConaughey emphasized one of the major themes of his book. Get out there and do your thing. And whatever it is you choose to do, don't half-ass it. All right, all right, all right. Well, e-learners, that's it for Green Lights by Matthew McConaughey. What a fantastic book. I hope you enjoyed this summary, and I hope you get the chance to read this book or listen to the fantastic author-performed audiobook. Either way, I'll see you next time on Mentally Fit.